wife has been bananas recently. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Um, not within my family. Um, so nothing to do with my husband or my kids. Um, just, yeah, just some situations. And it has been mentally exhausting. I pretty much wake up every morning with like pressure up in here. And it's not really a headache. It's just like annoying feeling, if that makes sense. Um, but one of the reasons I've been so frustrated is because I'm so focused on this situation that's happening that I'm like hyper fixated on it. And I know in a one of my past videos, I said I would <clears throat> film a video talking about what I have been diagnosed with. And I still have every intention to film that video, but one of the things is ADHD tendencies. And a tendency of ADHD is hyperfixation. And that could be on anything, food, drink, a situation. I definitely have been hyper fixated on this situation that's happening. So I've been just so focused on it that other things have been falling to the wayside. Right now, and, and I just felt like kind of making a video today because it's been a while. So it is like 1 p.m. right now, I think. I accidentally turned off the video when I went to check the time on my phone. But yes, it is about 1 p.m. Um, and I've been trying to do my Jesus time for like four hours now. But again, I've been getting distracted with other things that are coming up or other things that I'm like, oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. And so I've been doing those things first. So right now I am in my bedroom on my new gigantic bed <laughs> that I will show you. Uh, my, hus or my husband, <sighs> my brother <laughs> moved to Texas and so he gave me and my husband his California King bed. I have been loving it. I love the space on it. I am a person who when I sleep, I like to spread out when I sleep. My husband sleeps in one spot. I don't know if he's always slept in one spot or if because we've been sharing a queen bed and I like to spread out, that he has grown accustomed to sleeping in one spot on the bed. But yes, I will show you this bed because it's absolutely incredible. Here it is in all its glory this gigantic bed. I sleep on this side of the bed. My husband sleeps on this side. Um, standing in front of it, he sleeps in like this area. I sleep in the rest of the bed. So yeah, I have been loving this bed. It's very comfortable, very roomy, but I am going to sit down now on here and do my Jesus time because I need that time. I need to spend some time in prayer, um, especially for the situation that is currently going on. I just need to take time to be in prayer about it. I also need to get ready for the day. I definitely need to either order groceries or go actually get groceries because we're out of quite a few things in the house right now. So as of right now, that's the plan for the day. I'm done with my devotional. I'm tired. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep, but I can't. <laughs> I do want to share a little bit um, from my devotional because this was the last day of the one that I was doing called Proven by Jenny Allen. And this last day was a really good one. So I want to share um, some notes that I took from it. Now my notes are things straight from the text that I really like and that really stood out to me. Um, so none of this is my wording. It is all Jenny Allen's from the devotional. Instead of doing things for God, he wants to do things with me. The rhythm of the world is hustle, but the unforced rhythm of grace is trust. God has storehouses of grace so we can keep coming to him again and again. He has storehouses of everything we could ever need. We set expectations on ourselves of what we could, would, and should do for God. But our expectations are not necessarily His. 
We complicate God and all he wants from us or for us. He just wants us. The mission of God is so simple. To love God with all of our hearts, minds, souls, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We need to be with him before we start doing for him. Tomorrow I will get to pick which new devotional I want to do, <laughs> which I always enjoy doing. Um, I have been thinking about trying to find some devotionals about the disciples because I've been on this journey of reading devotionals where I'm learning about what God thinks of me. And obviously we're all human. We all make mistakes. We all sin. And even the disciples were sinners. Even the disciples made mistakes um, towards people that they knew and even towards Jesus. Um, and yet Jesus still used them for his good. So I kind of want to try to find a devotional on the disciples or even like individual disciples um, to learn more about them individually and the life they lived and the mistakes they made and how God still used them. So um, yeah, I don't know what I'll be able to find. I'm sure there's something out there, but that is the direction my mind is taking me to go. So yep, now it's time to get ready for the day and then figure out um, lunch because I still haven't eaten anything and by now it's almost two o'clock. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready, figure out lunch, and then figure out groceries. change of plans. Um, I need to go put my hair in a ponytail real quick and then I'm going to help a friend and then maybe I'll figure out groceries. <laughs> okay so me helping my friend turned into a four-hour thing. <laughs> I did not expect it to take four hours to do what we needed to do and it really should not have taken that long but it did and that's not not on her not her fault at all. Um, so yeah, I didn't get home until like, is it seven o'clock, seven thirty, something crazy like that. Um, I had to find something to eat here at the house. We have, we had like nothing left. So I had a beef pot pie and some Cheetos and that combination did not make my stomach feel good afterwards. Um, but then I got my grocery list together and I went and I got groceries. So today was just, um, a weird day and it wasn't a bad day, just a weird day. I had things in my mind that I wanted to accomplish and I didn't get, um, as much accomplished as I wanted to, but that's okay. Tomorrow is a new day, <sighs> but now it's like almost 11 30 p.m. and I'm just I'm tired so I'm going to wash my face put on my pajamas and go downstairs thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed please do so join the family like comment share this video with everybody that you know all of the things that you can do on YouTube um, I would love to um, I would love for you to do those things. I'm so tired right now. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.